How's it going? Welcome back to another great video with the majestic host, The Savior. And yes, today I'm very excited to be taking a look at something that I think we have all forgotten about, except for the main player base, of course. Now, I do want to take a deep look into Hunt Showdown to see if it still holds up today. It has been a long time. And the reason I'm going back to this game right now is because we are getting a massive update and I think a lot of people are pretty unaware of this update and I honestly think this is a massive shame because this update it reminds me of something that just happened recently with No Man's Sky this will actually transform the game a lot because it's adding a lot of content it's basically upgrading the engine from an already beautiful game engine the cry engine to an updated version of the CryEngine, making this game look even more fantastic than it already was, even though it was like five years ago at this point, it still looks so much better compared to a lot of modern day games coming out right now. And now they're just adding to it, but it's not just that, it's, you know, the added content, the gameplay systems that they're tweaking. I've got all of the information here. I've been playing a lot of Hunt Showdown in 2024, gearing up for this, and I wanted to give you my Hunt Showdown 1896 review, breaking down exactly what this update is going to offer and why, if you missed out on it at the beginning like I did, why actually this game deserves your attention a lot. Um, it completely blew me away and, you know, it's easy to write it off just like I did back when it first came out as just another, you know, generic kind of extraction shooter or perhaps a battle royale type of game and it doesn't look that interesting apart from maybe the setting, but actually the gameplay on offer here, the unique systems in place, make this actually a very special game and probably one of the best battle royale type um, extraction games I've ever played and we are getting a lot of them at this point which I'm not that happy about because they all do feel very similar but this one truly does do a lot different. <laughs> so let's take a look at Hunt Showdown 1896 and figure out what the hell is going on. What the hell is going on? So let me give you a quick rundown of what exactly is Hunt Showdown. If you missed it on release which like I did as well, so you know, it's okay, we can forgive ourselves because actually this game is top tier of all of the kind of battle royale type extraction shooters genre, in my opinion, up there next to Darker and Darker. But anyway, I think this does something very unique and more people need to give it attention, especially with this big update. But basically, it's a next gen update, similar, like I said, to the No Man's Sky update. It's actually going to overhaul the game a lot. But for the people who don't know, what this game is, it's basically kind of Souls-esque in a way um, where you're hunting bosses, okay? You're basically a bounty hunter who hunts big old, big juicy boys, big boys, okay? The big boys out there. But basically, yes, it's a PvP shooter in which you fight other players who are also in it for the same glory. They want to take down the bosses. And basically, once you trigger the boss fight, every player will be alerted to your location. That's when it becomes a full-on gunfight. And like I said, you have to extract with the boss's resources and then you can complete the level, as it were. Um, but the cool thing about this is this is a very tactical, defensive-based game. Um, and what I mean by that is this isn't going to be your average kind of Call of Duty, normal, you know, kind of fast paced shooter. So if you like that type of thing, you will definitely not like this game. This is a very immersive, slow paced and tactical game in which you really have to think about your movements, your bullets, where the player is. And now with the update, a lot of extra things like bullet drop and all this kind of stuff that makes it even more immersive. It's a very immersive game. It reminds me kind of of Red Dead Redemption 2 if it was an actual good multiplayer game down in the bayou, down in the dirty bayou where we get all nice and dirty. That's why we like to get dirty, you know, rustle up some crocs and slip it, slip a couple of fingers up there in those crocs. What I love about Hunt Showdown is it's very tense and 
it's very vibrant, okay? Because you never know what's around the corner. So it's not just, you know, other players that you have to worry about. There's lots and lots of different enemy variations in this game that you have to worry about. Giant spiders, for example, these kind of undead looking as people that you have to also take down. They aren't, you know, they're just NPCs, but still it adds variation to the game world and it makes it feel much more alive. The maps as well are quite big. And I'm going to get into all of this right now, the positives and the negatives. I'm going to talk about all the updates, the way they've implemented like new water physics, which seems like every big game going next gen is trying to do now, but also the new map and the new weapons and all that kind of stuff. So before I do that, I just want to quickly ask, make sure that you do subscribe to the channel if you are new, which is highly likely. And I want to say a big thank you to my returning wise ones who are watching this video. Shout out to you guys, you are awesome. And if you are new to the channel, consider becoming a wise one today by subscribing. It would only take you two seconds of your time, but it would mean so, so much to me. I'm so passionate about this community, what I'm building here, the content that I do. If you love gaming reviews, video game analysis, looking very ADHD into stuff and maybe reading too much into things, philosophical videos, all that kind of stuff. And I will just quickly say, as this video is not sponsored, do consider dropping a thank you if this video helps you decide if you are going to pick this up, purchase this game, or if I save you money in any way, or if I've somehow convinced you with whatever it is in my videos um, to try new things or to think differently, please do consider supporting me because I am trying to do this full time now, but I can only do it with your support. Realistically, I'm really relying on your support. So that would mean a lot if you did drop a donation by dropping a YouTube thanks or going over to my PayPal or just support me by checking out my music that I create on Spotify. I've got some new hit songs coming out very soon. And if you like the kind of cyberpunk soundtrack stuff, you'll definitely like what I create. So here is the Hunt Showdown 1896 review, the Hunt Showdown update review, okay? Because I've been playing this non-stop in preparation for this, so I know exactly what's coming and it's going to absolutely blow your mind. So I do hope you enjoy this Hunt Showdown 2024 review, looking back at this gem. I'm very, very sad that I missed this on release, but I'm kind of glad that I did because now it's so polished, the player base is growing, and this is honestly one of the most unique gaming experiences that is on offer at the moment. And like I said, it's not going to be for everyone, it's for the patient gamer, it's for people who like immersive games like Red Dead Redemption 2, for example, and who like the tense action tactical nature of games like Rainbow Six Siege, for example. Uh, mixing that in with battle royale and extraction based gameplay elements makes this a very unique package. So let's get into the positives and negatives and go through all of the updates in the Hunt Showdown 1896 update. Breathe deep, take your fill. Welcome to Mammon's Gulch. Welcome to 1896. At times it almost feels like a military sim, you know, I have PTSD flashback to playing Rise in Storm um, with this kind of experience because it is very slow paced, um, but that's a good thing because gunfights can last like 30 minutes where you're just like hunkered down, facing off other players. And it's got such a unique vibe to it and the creature design, the enemies of this game are just so cool. You know, this is what multiplayer games should be like in my opinion, not cluttered with UI, not, you know, trying to take you out of the experience with all of this kind of oversaturated cartoon fantasy bullshit. A proper game that really makes you feel immersed and, you know, invested in what you're doing in a multiplayer experience. The people behind CryEngine are always very good at making their game worlds immersive, but Hunt Showdown really takes it to the next level with its sound design. Uh, basically, everything in this game makes sound, and it's not just, you know, a cool detail. This is actually important. It feeds into the gameplay loop. It's all built around, you know, stealth and sound. And what I mean by that is there are so many different little sound traps across the world, you know, birds that will, you know, just normally be birds in a game, in a multiplayer game, they act as sound traps, okay? And that, you can hear that off in the distance and you'll know another player is there. The same thing for stepping over, you know, a big piece of wood, it will crack like a goddamn broken bone, maybe a little bit too loud, but still, it's so cool. Um, the gun noises, everything about this 
is just so immersive and it's all built around that philosophy of having an interactive map um, and how that, you know, caters to the kind of immersive gun experience and how that caters to the immersive gunplay experience of, you know, other players always on the lookout, always listening for, you know, other players. The tone and atmosphere is something special, like I said, the Lovecraftian vibes and the fact that this is set in a kind of western bayou setting. We don't really get anything else like that. And I just love how it's set up. Like, the audio direction stuff is incredible. You know, you can hear gunfire off in the distance and know exactly where it is on the map in the exact location. It's just so well done and it really makes it feel much more immersive compared to other games. And usually it's just like a little, you know, feature. You know, I think Avatar tried to you know, try and make that a marketing campaign for their game. But honestly, for this, it actually does feed into the gameplay and it is integral to the stealth and the combat in this game. And that's something we don't usually get, you know, mixing the environment with the actual gameplay. Make sure you do watch until the end of the video, by the way, because I'm a little, little retention whore and I actually need you to watch until the end of the video so I can tell you something very exciting about this game and what it, what it means for the gaming industry. Another positive is if you are tired of this extraction, you know, kind of formula where you just go in, you collect loot, and if you die and you lose all of your loot, it's not exactly like that, you know, it does have that to a degree, but basically what this game is, it's just the standard leveling up experience but it's done in such a better way because yes there is that extraction gameplay element to it where you do get better gear but also you are constantly leveling up your character and the perk tree system here offers very different play styles for each player which I really like. If you're absolutely gun crazy and a bit of an RPG stat nerd you're also gonna love this like I do um, you know basically you can work towards better tiered guns and if you prestige then you can unlock you know like the best version of a particular gun that you love and you know get access to better reload times damage increases special buffs and stuff like that so it is quite thorough in its perk tree but also with its loot and how it gears and levels up over time. So I'm going to keep going into the positives and negatives, but now let's talk about the update, all of the details you need to know about Hunt Showdown 1896. And take this as my Hunt Showdown 1896 review because I wanted to look at Hunt Showdown in 2024 as an overview, you know, what this game is and what it's transforming into to give you the best picture of this because I honestly think now is the perfect time to jump in just before the update launches for everyone else um it's important to pick this game up now because you will maybe there might be a price hike i don't know but still this is the perfect time to get into this game and i really do hope more people take an interest in it because you know yes it is just an update but this is trying to overhaul the game making it into the next gen experience that you know this game already felt next gen but now it truly is becoming next gen and i hope you know, this time around, it was kind of a sleeper hit. Now, maybe this time, it's going to be much more popular with people. Because honestly, when a lot of games this year have kind of sucked compared to last year, it's nice to have something refreshing like this. So basically, this is going over to the new Cry Engine, which is a big deal because it's going to look a lot better with lighting, shadows, water physics, and effects, stuff like that. So that's a very big deal. It's also getting a new map with 16 different compounds. They've truly listened to the player feedback and that's what I love. You know, they are very focused on the community, on their player base. They haven't abandoned this game. They, they just keep adding to it. Hence this massive, you know, update for, you know, the rebranding basically of Hunt Showdown 1896. It almost sounds like a sequel. That's because it is adding a lot. They're adding new items, new weapons, all of this crazy stuff and big things that change the gameplay. Because like I said, it is a tactical game, but they're adding even more stuff to make this feel much more immersive, like a realistic bullet drop. Now that also changes the damage, so it's going to be a lot more lethal. If you do get a headshot, you're pretty much gone. Um, and this game is difficult, okay? You have to remember that this game is not for the casual player. If you like something with low stakes and you don't want to get invested in, you know, losing your gear or, you know, like failing a match and you don't really get much from it, for example, then this might not be the game for you. But what this does offer is truly immersive, rewarding, 
The boss battles are some of the best, you know, first person boss battles I've seen. They're also implementing better UI, they're removing some features that just made it feel kind of bloated and a little bit of a mobile kind of progression system, which I like. And they're also adding, you know, a lot of new stuff, like they're going back into the older maps and touching them up, making them new and exciting. Like, like I said, this kind of next-gen overhaul. So even if you're a veteran player of this game and I've only just been playing it recently and got really into it, I'm even more excited because there's going to be massive changes coming for everyone else. DLSS support, which is a big, big plus as I've recently transitioned into upgrading my PC, which is why I'm broke and that's also why I need your support. But honestly, I never knew much about DLSSS, DLSSS is what I'm trying to say, but it makes a world of difference. Basically, there's the main hunt showdown gameplay loop of, you know, finding the boss, setting up a defensive area and going crazy. But now with the new update, you can set more and more traps. So it feels more organic and on the fly. You can set up, you know, better choke points and stuff like that. And that's what I love about this game. I love defensive based games where you know, you really have to think about your actions. Like I said, it's all based around sound in this game and where, you know, the sound is coming from based on the map and based on the players interacting with the level design itself. And that's all just being, you know, upgraded, which I love, like adding, you know, new sound traps and all that kind of stuff. And also you really have to think about the bosses, okay? Before, when it first released, that's why I kind of looked past it. It looked a bit janky. A lot of people weren't happy with the gameplay, with the actual shooting gameplay. It feels very clunky. And it is supposed to be deliberately clunky because these are old weapons that you're using. But yes, it was a bit stiff. That's all getting smoothed out as well. For bosses, you know, you really have to think about how you tackle each boss for, you know, new players out there. Um, they aren't just go in there and shoot them. You have to think about what they're immune against and what they're weak against and all of this kind of stuff and you really have to think about the best way to take them down as fast as possible. At the moment you do get a solo mode but it's not that good um, and it's not the full experience. You now get four maps on release and over five bosses so there's a lot of content here. Also what I love is it's not just focusing on the PvP gameplay loop and sometimes that isn't actually that fun. What you need are interesting encounters in between that. And like I said, because this game is so immersive, because it's so densely packed and it just feels so real, having these enemies chase after you is actually a terrifying experience a lot of the time. And basically, you know, there are so many different enemy variations and you can expect more of them, like bloodhounds. The only negatives I would really say about this game is sometimes, you know, the beginning of each hunt, you know, you have to find clues to find where the boss is. That can kind of slow the gameplay for me and it feels like you're kind of boxed in. You know, I like the open approach that this game has and I wish that it could just kind of focus more on having a much more sandbox feel to it when you are planning how to take out a boss and if the bosses were a little bit more dynamic where they kind of roam around and stuff like that. But this game, and that's a big positive, is vibes, okay? It does have very, very strong vibes and atmosphere is so important in video games. You know, people underestimate how important sound design, soundtrack, and just atmosphere is in video games, you know, environmental storytelling, all of this stuff, that's what's kind of being lost in modern day games today. It's all just focusing around, you know, how to make as much money from the gamer as possible, or how to make it accessible to everyone, or how to, you know, just checklist off these different gameplay content, you know, things that they need just to say, our game is big and our game is this, you know, many hours long and all this kind of bullshit. And as someone who's working on a soundtrack right now for a game, I'm just telling you that this game truly has a unique atmosphere that you should experience because that's where immersion, that's where you can get inspiration and storytelling from, not just from, you know, these cinematic games, but games that make you think and question and reflect. Uh, and, you know, that's why it, I, it does feel kind of Souls-esque. That's why I wanted to say that. I'm not saying it's Souls-like, but it does feel like that type of game to me. And the big positive and the final big positive is the guns just feel great to use. And I do like the progression here. And I do wish there was more variation with the bosses, but still now there is quite a lot here. But each map never feels, each time you play it doesn't really feel the same. And that's, you know, quite a special thing to say when you are playing on a kind of small number of maps but they are big maps and the dynamics of this game always make it feel fresh. But honestly, they could, you know, just stretch it out even more, you know, maybe even add some kind of campaign mode, add, you know, a, di a dynamic, 
you know, kind of gauntlet of different many bosses in the same area or something like that. Just something to keep it fresh. That's what I want to see going forward. But the big positive is just the gameplay. The level design of this is just fantastic. And the fact that you need to be patient for this type of experience. And that's not something that the industry is heading towards anymore. So I'm glad we do get experiences like this. But honestly, I do think Hunt Showdown 1896 is awesome. It's going to be a breath of fresh air and I hope it, you know, brings in new players for Hunt Showdown in 2024. Because so far, now that I finally picked it up, I can safely say that, yes, Hunt Showdown is worth it. So for people who are asking me, is Hunt Showdown worth it in 2024? I would say 100% yes, especially because of this update. So that's it. That's all you need to know. I do hope you enjoyed this Hunt Showdown 2024 review. And if you did, like I said, please do consider dropping a donation, supporting the show, giving this video a big old smack, a big old like as well. That would also be nice. And to check out my other videos and a lot of great stuff coming, guys. And thank you so much for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a great day. Peace out.